the capital of Finland, a hub of modern living and the perfect spot to see the breathtaking northern lights. But today, Aurora Borealis can take a hike. There's a new spectacle in town as 70 teams of thrill seekers duke it out in the ultimate battle of creativity, showmanship and speed. Who will emerge champion and whose hopes and dreams will vanish into thin air? This is the Red Bull Soapbox Race Helsinki. Welcome to Finland, home of Santa, a thousand lakes, and of course, the sauna. Small sauna. Oh, yeah. This is the perfect place to show off your huge appreciation of Art Nouveau architecture. This is very evident in the beautiful city of Helsinki. One of the finest examples is the stunning Huvalakatu Street. Dubbed the most colourful street in Helsinki. This place is an insta paradise. Oh, you're right. Quick, selfie. Nice. Let me have a look. Finland is also home to the World Mobile Phone Throwing Championships, which is a sport that is exactly what it sounds like. Ooh. Helsinki was also home to one of the world's finest symphonic composers, Jean Sibelius, who was so good, the Finns built this 24-ton, 600-pipe monument in his honour. I've got to say, as designs go, it's pretty out there. You think that's out there? Wait till you see what's in store at the Red Bull Soapbox Race, which has descended on the magnificent Observatory Hill in Helsinki for another day of creative and chaotic Red Bull Soapbox racing in front of thousands of fans. So, to get us all up to speed, here's a quick reminder of what today is all about and what we've got to look forward to. Oh, there's your phone. Brilliant. Oh, I've got a text. Ooh. Two likes for the photo. Oh. It's not that good. Championing eccentricity since the year 2000, the Red Bull Soapbox race sees amateur teams of friends, family and workmates racing balmy homemade creations down a course littered with obstacles, all with just gravity to power them. Oh, he's gone! Over the years, over 120 events have been held in amazing locations in every corner of the globe. Each race attracts fans in their thousands, hungry for speed... Look how fast these guys are! ...silliness... Oh, it's missed it, look! <laughs> ..and the odd spectacle spectacular crash. Oh, he's lost in there! Wow, look at that! Bag of tools is... Oh! Oh, spun it! Look at that! Fun is always the order of the day, but this is a contest, and to decide a winner, each team is scored on three categories. Firstly, a panel of judges marks the creativity and craftsmanship of each soapbox. Look at that! That is mighty impressive! Then, points are given for a 30-second performance immediately before the run. And finally, those scores are added to the total time taken to complete the course. This is going to be a good time! Spectacular at the end! Sorry, if they complete the course. Oh, look at that! Get more overall points than anyone else and you've just earned yourself universal bragging rights as Red Bull Soapbox Race champions. There's just one thing standing in the way, the course itself, and this one cutting through Observatory Hill is a wolf in sheep's clothing and will test both the drivers and their soapboxes to the limit. This is the start ramp at the highest point of the Observatory Park overlooking the majestic Helsinki Harbour for the most picturesque Red Bull soapbox race of all time. But you won't get to enjoy the view for long because within a matter of seconds, you'll be faced with this fearsome berm. This one's on a 90 degree angle, so an instant test of the driver's steering. You could see some flips and some rolls very early on. This kicker might not look terrifying, but make no mistake, it launches you into the fastest and steepest part of the course, made even trickier by the fact it's off camber, forcing you to the right, and they've put a chicane in. Come out of that chicane and you're into a harsh right-hander. Make it through that and you get a chance to clean yourself up in the car wash. So, if you survive the berm, the kicker, the chicane and this, you foam and dry. We've seen the course, we've seen the soapboxes. You're an expert when it comes to this, aren't you? Stop it. You are, though. I know. What do you think? Well, in the pit lane, there's design genius. There's also design disaster, so that should bode well. I mean, it's a very solid course, really good obstacles, so I think we're in for a good day. Yeah, I think so too. Over to you, Darren. Thank you, fellas. We do like design genius, but we love design disaster, and we love where we are today. So we'll call this team VPK, Harry the Pilot. They're all working together as volunteer firefighters. 
And the, the, the soapbox has been built by people from various backgrounds, engineers, drivers, farmers, plumbers, other people too. So we'll see whether this amalgamation of ideas can work. And the creativity today is from a maximum of 20. They got 15 for that. The performance out of 40, 35. So this is the moment of truth. What I will say about the course is that it's very short. And we've got the perfect position at the top of Observatory Hill. Wonderful weather today. Thousands here watching and off go VPK. Let's see what they can do. The berm is first and they are around the berm. I never like to see a trailer attached to the back, but doesn't seem to be a problem for this team. Over the kicker. They've then got the chicane followed by the car wash. They're nice and fast through there. Here's the car wash coming up through the foam. Oh, look at that spectacular. Oh, and he's wiped it out at the end into the straw bales. That's because he couldn't see. Harry couldn't see coming through the foam, and that's going to be a problem for everyone here today. But you've got to be aware that when you pop out the car wash, you're probably not going to be able to see, but that's a really good run by VPK to kick us off today. They were nice and smooth, did the berm really well, handled all of the obstacles. The only problem they had was they got a face full of foam after the car wash. Uh, team Lentava Salami in my very best finish in Helsinki today. Will they finish? That's what we'll find out. Uh, 17 for creativity. And uh, 31 for performance. They've been friends for 20 years, this team, and they're sponsored by a meat factory. And he's actually got a helmet underneath the pilot. You will notice and the front wheel's gone already the old wobbly pram wheel here's the kicker oh to add a bit more damage now the chicane managing to keep it going quite quick bearing in mind he's got very little control from the front left as you look at it here's the car wash through the foam he's fine it's only a short run no he's gone wow I don't think it helps when you've got foam on your goggles and you come around there and you can't see the bale and when you've got speed, you can flip it and that's exactly what he did. Mika's OK, needs a bit of help to get it over the finish line. It would have been a really good time, that, wouldn't it? 46.9, but he lost so much time by flipping it after the car wash. Man. Unbelievable. My goodness, it was all looking pretty good. Yeah, but uh, I don't know what happened. They told me to go in the left side, but I was like, no way, you should go in the right. Yeah. But then I remember, oh yeah, because I'm left-handed, I mixed it. That's why I went left, even should, I should go in the, in the right side. You got your left and right confused and yes. ended up in the straw. Yes. At the end of the day, have you had a good experience? Excellent time, excellent time. Couldn't be better. Fantastic yep. job. Congratulations, you did brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Good job, ma'am. Back to you, Darren. Thanks, Kedler. We've all forgotten at times that we're right-handed when we're left-handed and all that kind of thing. It's an easy mistake to make. Trains foreman's come next. Now, they say they come from beyond the solar system where the sun seems to have shone a little more. <laughs> We've all been there from time to time. Uh, the Soapbox is a human-powered steam train that doesn't need rails. 29 out of 40 for the performance on the back of 13 for creativity, and off we go. Around the berm. Oh, no, not around the berm. Straight up the berm and back down again. Rolling down again. Yanni is the pilot. The idea is to turn. Maybe he got his left and rights mixed up as well because he just went straight on. It's a long way down when you find yourself up there. Off we go again. Let's have another go, shall we? Here's the kicker. Bit of support from the crowd. And now the chicane. He's a lot more gentle with what he's doing now. Here's the car wash. See, the car wash had time to get itself going by the time he'd rolled at the top. What about the time? At 111.54, and he's rolled it again. <laughs> there's a lesson to be learned there, that if you go and total it on the berm, by the time you get to the car wash, there's more foam than there ordinarily would be. 
When it comes to soapbox racing, Helsinki is the city that keeps on giving, and you're going to get even more after the break. Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox Race here in Helsinki. I'm not really sure what's going on, Darren. I think I've joined some sort of pyramid scheme. Oh, they get worse. Honestly, they get worse. I'm not even going to try and pronounce our next team. Suffice to say that the theme is that they are poachers who have been tracking targets all winter. And now with his weapon loaded, the animals are prepared for the arrival. I don't know where they get these ideas from, but that's what it is. 13 for creativity, the performance score is 36. Nico is the co-pilot, Yuho is the pilot, and off they go. Let's see whether the poachers... Whoa! I was going to say, see whether the poachers get caught by the gamekeepers. They actually got caught by the berm. A lot of speed, too fast, too tight. And uh, Nico exited stage left. They're going to roll towards the kicker. Oh! <laughs> Over you go. Get back in, Nico, or give us a push. So they've still got the chicane, they've still got the car wash. I wonder whether Nico at the back will go through the car wash. No, I don't think he will. <laughs> Here's the car wash. Is there enough speed to get through the foam and get to the foam? Well, he's had to go through, look, Nico, because Yuho needs him. Needs him badly. Eventually over the line. Well, eventually over the line. <laughs> what about the time? At 106.45. Minutes, not hours, but it felt that way. That's where it all went wrong. Before the race, Matt and Gendel delved a little bit deeper into the next team's chances. Look at this bad boy, a tribute to the Finnish Formula One racing legend Kiki Rosberg. But I bet you any money, when he won the World Championship back in 1982, he wasn't sat on two bits of MDF. And also, I don't think his car was this flimsy. It's held together with cable ties, these wheels are a bit shoddy, and it's made out of yoga mats. Let's hope it namastays on the track. Oh, nice. Because of the yoga no, and the yeah. namas... No, yeah. didn't need to explain it, did I? Back to you, Darren. <laughs> You probably did, actually, because I was as confused as you initially, Gendel. So the Keki Rosberg tribute, uh, Keken Pulu, Jesse the pilot. Uh, they're all studying economics together at university, this team. Uh, Keki Rosberg, the first ever Finnish Formula One world champion. And I share the concerns about the wheels, if truth be known. But then again, I always do. Uh, 21 for performance, 14 for creativity. Oh, they've gone straight away! They've not even touched the tarmac. Watch this. <laughs> the wheels have just gone. Right, down towards the berm. Try again. Oh, this one's a shambles, look at it. I tell you what, Keke Rushboy wouldn't have finished the race in that. Oh, there's the bales. What's the matter with the steering? Dear me. Oh! <laughs> go on, give it a push over the kicker. There we go. Oh, it's gone. Look at the wheels now. The axles completely let them down. Should have tried that from the start, fellas. Warhawk P40. It's a 1940s fighter jet, and it looks great on the eye. 19 out of 20 for creativity. I'm not surprised. I'm not sure where they lost the point, because it looked brilliant. 34 out of 40 for the performance. Everything's stacking up here for this particular team to be competitive today. Very short run, don't forget. Very quick from uh, top to bottom. <laughs> and they finally get it over the top of the start ramp, and off we go. So the berm is first. And you've got to get your line right through here. Oh, we went a little bit high, but managed to... 
get it back left quickly enough. They might just have lost a little bit of time there. They're nice and quick over the kicker. They've lost the wing. Uh, the left wing's gone, the right wing's still there. Here we go around the chicane. Now we're coming down towards the car wash, through the foam, still going, nice and quick. Wings back down. Oh, it's creative, this. They can lift the wings up, put them down again. 26.03. That's one of the best runs we've seen today. And when you think of how well they did before they started with creativity, performance, and then the run itself, that was good. Guys, that was lightning fast. How did it feel? Like in an airplane. You had such a good line on the berm, like high, and it spat you out nice and fast. Yeah, we practiced yesterday a bit, like the lines, where to jump, where to take the bad corners, everything, so. It was fantastic. How did it feel in the back for you? Just great. I was totally safe here. You're so proud of him, aren't you? I can tell. I am, really proud. And the wings flying up, that was yeah. a lovely touch. Yeah. Yeah, it had to be, to take the good corners. Yeah. yeah, well, it worked. It worked brilliantly. I think you, uh, well, you may have put down one of the fastest times of the day. So put it there. Good work. Nice. Got to stop doing that. Hey, my name is Petros. And my name is Teemu. And we are the Team, team Dabbing, Dabbing Witches. Witches. The inspiration behind our car is the robotics and the automation, what we have studied in the university. We have two wheels, two boys. It's basically a flying broomstick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our car might look very simple, but at the end it will be one of the most technical cars because the end bar is so technical that I think that most of the people couldn't do that. But for us it's basically trivial because we have studied so much those kind of things and we have done a lot of those kind of things mm. previously as well. Yes. This is my second time here. Last time I was driving and this time is Temus. Temu has been three times. We will be the fastest car and we will win. Yeah, definitely gonna win. Got to admire the confidence. Team Dabbing Witches, Timo Petros, they've been involved before. <laughs> 18 for creativity. And the performance well and truly underway. What do the judges make of this? I wondered whether we're going to start dabbing, actually. 33. I don't think they knew what to make of it either. Oh, it's on fire, this one, already. They set it alight at the back. Oh, look at this! Oh, oh, I haven't seen one of these before. Bravery award goes to Timo. Oh, he's gone, look. I'm not surprised. His soapbox is on fire. He's got nowhere to sit. Look at it! It's like a kid's scooter! Here's the kicker, I can't wait for... Oh, look at it! Oh, it's gone! Look at that! Did anybody else think anything was going to happen? Look at that! My word! He must be mad! Right, now the chicane. He's had the wind knocked out of his sails, that's for sure. Here we go, then, through the car wash. <laughs> I can't believe who thought this was a good idea, down towards the finish. I'm not bothered about the time, I'm just glad he got there. 55.02. I thought we'd lost him over the kicker, I really did. The minute I saw it take off, I thought, oh, no. Nice to see you down here, eventually. Talk us through the run, what happened? Well, the track was a little surprisingly difficult. Did, did the gravel catch you out, it was too slippy? Yeah, it was pro probably the ground, it was, it was a little bit difficult, so that it, it started to like waffling to the car, yeah. It's such an incredible contraption yeah. you've got there. You yeah. look so fast from the start, you must have felt confident when you left yes. the ramp. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's uh, probably because uh, we, we didn't test it this, uh, with this much speed, and that might be the reason, yes. After the jump, you landed and just the speed wobbles got you, yeah? Yes, it, it was like that. Yeah. Yes, well, exactly. I still think you're magic. Can you yes. give, give us one more dab? Yes, of course. There it is. Fantastic. Yes. Put it there, dude. Yes. Great job. Back to the top. It's a fine line between bravery and insanity, and I've got to say, that was a mixture of both. Uh, so now we have Calio Egypt Sport. Uh, they're all into motorcycles, fast cars, 
And I'm told fast beer drinking too, so let's keep our fingers crossed for this. 38 for the performance. We've got 13 for creativity. It's one of the more unique designs of a soapbox that we've ever seen. A pyramid with a man poking out the top. Here's the kicker. Nice and quick through there, but then you get that little wobble off the back of it. Here's the chicane. So far, so good. So far, so good. He's lost it. That's what he's sitting on. He's on a little bike with handlebars. Look at that. Oh, that's brilliant. He looks like one of the Diddy men. Look at that. Oh, I'm glad that fell apart so we could see what he was doing. Look at this. You think, oh, it's, it's really, you know, special this. Then it all falls apart. He's on that little contraption underneath. Look at that. Would you do that? No, you wouldn't. Bonkers, stark raving bonkers. 29.8, by the way, the time, I forgot to tell you. Great Scott! My name's Matt, not no, Scott. No, it's my Back to the Future thing. Doesn't matter, oh, look okay. at this thing, what do you reckon? I think it's one of the most impressive ones I've seen. The attention to detail is amazing. Hydraulic doors, the flux capacitor, lights all over the car. It's an impressive machine. It is. That's the door coming down. But, you know, apart from that, apart from that, it's incredibly well made. I mean, there is no seat back here. The seat belt is missing. The steering wheel is in my lap, so any sudden impact on the front could be quite painful, but it's got a chance of winning, so let's see what happens. Back to Darren. It's back to the future, not Darren. Yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. I've got one golden rule when it comes to commentary. Never try and pronounce a word that's got 17 letters in it. And I'm going to stick to it today. 13 for creativity. I have no idea what they're called. All engineers from Helsinki. There's no seat. The driver's going to be sitting on a metal plate and bungee cords are holding the doors closed. 37 out of 40 for the performance. If the brakes fail, by the way, he's going to sit on the ground through a big hole on the floor and hold on. Right. All sounds straightforward to me. Here's the burn. Oh, he's, oh, he's up and he's over two wheels. Love that. That's as spectacular as we've seen through there. Now the kicker, no problem. Just could do with a little bit more speed. It's just not quite quick enough. Chicane, car wash, finish after this. Through we go. Let's have a look at the time. Last little chicane at the end. There's the chequered flag and the finish. And it's 30.80. And the two-wheel exit to the berm was brilliant. Uh, Yuso, the pilot. Marty. Marty. What, well, what year is it? Well, don't worry about that. No, what, what year is it? It's, it's 2019, Marty. Yeah, is that we okay? made it. Is that we okay? made it. We you made it. You're I, back. I, yeah, I'm back. What happened on the berm? You like bounced onto your side and then back on the wheels. That was amazing. Yeah, I tried to cut the corner. Yeah. It was incredible. Did you think the race was over at that point? I was pretty sure that that something went broke, and I think, but. Dude, the car is awesome. I'm very Thank impressed very with that one. You must be happy. Yeah, I, oh. I have to say, the whole team was excellent and it's a team effort. All right, I'll let you get back to Doc and celebrate. Yeah, I have to tell him. I have to tell him. Maybe I find him. You'll find him. You will. Go and have a look. Back to you, Darren. Thanks, Kendall. Good to see that he stayed in character right the way through. Uh, made in Finland. Their helmets look. I love that. Creativity of eight, what's the matter with that? The helmets are brilliant, they're worth 15 on their own. It's not very often I take umbrage with the judges, but I am today. 27 for performance. I can't believe that creativity score, this looks great. The eyes are the helmets of the pilot and the co-pilot. Timo is the pilot. Here's the berm. Made in Finland as ground to a halt. Oh, boom! <laughs> that went so slowly, even the crowd could get involved. And you can see it's made of wood. We weren't supposed to see it today from that angle, but it's great to see that the guys are OK. There we go. What do you say? Going, 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 gone. The helmets are brilliant. They should get on the podium for those. Look at that. It's a DNF, I'm afraid. What an action-packed day it's been so far here at the Red Bull Soapbox Race in Helsinki. Join us after the break for more thrills, spills and Nordic mayhem.
Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox Race. So far, Helsinki has all the ingredients of a classic and of a taco. Darren, you must be loving this. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've got loads to tell you about this one, by the way. Tacover, uh, Gerardo and Ivan are both Mexican. Now, they built the car in a week, and it's basically a bathtub. And they wanted to compete today without brakes. And we've made them put brakes on it before we allowed it. Seven for creativity, 26 for performance. They've got a lot of work to do here. Off we go, the, the taco bathtub. Here's the burn. Oh, he's gone too high, he's gone too high, he's got back down, oh, they've gone. Lettuce everywhere. Here's the onboard shot, which is brilliant. They know at this point, they can see the whites of the spectators' eyes up there. Right, off we go again. Oh, crikey, he's only just made it back in. Over the kick, oh, over the kicker, I felt that. Here's the chicane, they're really fast, you know. Oh, this, but they can't steer it, they're going that fast, they can't steer it. Right, let's have another go, fellas. This would have been really good if he went down in one go. Back in. Oh, here's the foam, a car wash. Pilots covered, can't see. Checkered flag at the ready. And uh, what have we got? 106.19. That had all the makings of a really good run, apart from the crashes. <laughs> So this one translates to Soapbox Customs, and they've got the maximum creativity score of 20. Uh, Ilfa is the pilot. And they're promising big things, these guys, today. 35 out of 40 for the performance. Everything's gone well pre-run. And they're often running down the very steep start ramp here in Helsinki today, and the first thing they encounter is the berm, and the first thing they lose is the bonnet. But everything's OK. Here's the speed over the kicker, that's nice. Really quick at the minute. Chicane, smooth through there. Coming down towards the car wash and flies through the car wash, foam everywhere. It's only short. There's the chequered flag, 25.25, brilliant. When you think about the creativity score, the performance score, and the speed generated, all the lines were good, soapbox well designed, brilliant run. We're having a very special moment, Darren. I can't believe what's happening. Matt, tell him, tell him. What's happening right now is this coach has just given birth to a brand new baby soapbox. It's so beautiful and emotional. I'm tingling all over. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to do. I mean, the wheels at the back are bigger than the ones at the front, so. That's because it's dad's a JCB. Ah, back to okay. you, Darren. I have to work with these fellas time after time after time. So let's have a look. <laughs> Team Chemo, 16 for creativity. They're volunteer firefighters. They do firefighting summer camps for kids. I didn't know you could go on one of those. 22 for the performance. Here's the burn. Small wheels at the front, big ones at the back, and no problem around the burn. That was good. So far, so good with the kicker next on the agenda. That slowed them down. It's done a bit of damage to the front. Look, the wheels have gone. It's gone from a sprint to a trundle. Oh, look at that. You never like to see that. The patter of tiny feet. On this occasion, getting the soapbox down towards the finish line. There we go, we're all right again. Through the car wash. Look at all the foam. Little chicane down towards the finish. It's got to be over a minute, this one. Let's have a look. The best time today was just over 25 seconds, to give you an idea. 101.25.
When your wheels go, your wheels go. So now we have uh, Solifer boys. And Solifer is a Finnish manufacturer of bikes, boats, mopeds and travel trailers. A maximum creativity score of 20. They must be bribing the judges. 40 out of 40! All they did was bounce up and down on the spot. So we've got the caravan attached to the car, which seems to be going in reverse for some bizarre reason. Well, they've got no chance here, surely. Around the berm, around the berm, around the... Oh, they're all right so far. Eyes in the back of his head. Now we've got the kicker, the first reverse soapbox that we've ever had here. This is crackers, chicane. Oh, he's managed to get it round, look at this. Now they've got the car wash, this is really narrow. He's straight through, look at this for a run. What about the time? He's gone backwards all the way. That's astonishing, 34.64 in reverse from top to bottom. Oh, he's in there, look. I thought that was the fella going backwards all the way. Now I get it. That was brilliant. Good run. That was absolutely fantastic. I know. How did you feel in there? Were you, were you completely focused or did you just go with the toe? Yeah, I really knew we were going to win. You're squeezing my neck really tight. That's how much adrenaline you've got in you. Are you happy? <laughs> I didn't even know we broke that car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we made it. We are here at one it. piece. Yeah. Yeah. That was a wonderful bit of reversing. Was that all reverse psychology for you? Yeah. <laughs> I was very scared because I didn't trust him at all. And how many times you you break? I, I, I didn't remember. <laughs> I, I make it two times. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank Guys, you. we've got to let you go. That was fantastic. Uh -huh. Awesome job. My favourite so far, maybe. Back to you, Darren. What do you reckon? I think I might be with you. Um, Horam Aket comes next. Uh, the theme is a Darth Vader Sphinx. And the judges really like the creativity of this one. They've all taken part in Soapbox before uh, they met, and they know each other loosely through what we call the Red Bull Soapbox circuit. Let's see what the judges make of the performance. This is out of 40. 25. Looks like it might be quickness. It's got the look of a nice design. Easy to control, I think. Oh, yeah, just about. You can see how fast he was going into the berm. Risto is the pilot. Flies over the uh, kicker. Here's the chicane. A lot of speed through the chicane. Haven't seen many as quick through there. This is really nice. Car wash. Let's have a look at the time. This is going to be quick. Uh, could be really quick. Let's have a look here. Oh, 26.08. Not quite the fastest today, but that was probably the smoothest. Uh, looked like he'd had a lot of opportunity to test the soapbox and make sure he was at one with his with his vehicle. Hey Matt. Sure, Miss Money Penny. I'm ready for my soapbox race. Mate, I have to say, your Finnish accent is excellent. Well done. Really right. good. Thanks, thanks. What do you think of the Aston Martin then? I'm a really big fan of this. I think it's very well made, an excellent chassis, brilliant wheels and a really light foam body. It's nice and low, I think it'll be quick. Also, got room for two passengers in here, so that's very interesting. Has it got any gadgets? Oh yeah, just watch yourself. High tech. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. All right, I fancy this one's chances, but will it be shaken or stirred at the bottom, Darren? What do you reckon? The silence says it's all, Gendel. James Blond, 14 for creativity, so the judges didn't like it as much as our two. Tero and Timo, pilot and co-pilot, they're brothers. It's their third soapbox race together. So in we go then. In the speed test, by the way, this team reached 
kilometers per hour. 31 out of 40 for the performance, and off go James Blond. Oh, nice and easy through there. Oh, have they lost the wheel at the front? Something's gone wrong at the front. It's all skew with over the kicker. Here's the adverse camber chicane, and then down towards the car wash. There's the car wash, what about the time? It's not as fast as we thought it would be, I don't think. Yeah, 26.51, they didn't get the speed that they were getting in practice. And they go thudding into the straw bales to finish. Look at the look on his face through there. The action's been coming thick and fast today here in Helsinki, and I cannot wait to see this, one of the slickest soapboxes I've ever seen, tackle the track. But can our track tame the beast of Turin? Find out after the break. Welcome back to the Red Bull Soapbox race in Helsinki. This day has been more fun than the sauna I took with Gendel. Darren, what's up next? I'm not, I'm not even going to comment. Uh, suffice to say, the Beast of Turin is the name of the soapbox team, which again conjures up images of your sauna with Gendel. Um, 13, the creativity. Uh, Tommy the pilot. Uh, they're brothers from the north of Finland. It's a replica of Fiat's first car that was built back in 1911 and they have been involved in Red Bull Soapbox Race before. 12 for the performance, so the judges didn't think a great deal of it. This is my least favourite kind of design. Tall, small wheels, pram wheels, bendy wheels, there we go. That <laughs> didn't last long, did it? It was heavy, it had bendy wheels, and what do bendy wheels do when you go around a corner? Correct, they bend, that's that. The beast of Turin has been tamed in Helsinki. Let's look at the onboard. So much confidence at this stage, and then you think, ah, oh, no. Just leave it there, fellas. Now we have uh, Lisu, who's going to pilot the next team down. Only seven for creativity, which is not very good. Well, they're referees, essentially, that's the theme. And they tell us, they've been quite honest, they haven't checked the brakes. I think that's the first thing I'd check. 28 for performance. Oh, oh, a little bit wobbly there. I didn't think they'd make the ramp. Right then. Let's see what the girls can do. Right, around the berm. Lots of shrieking and whistling going on here. Over the kicker. Oh, there we go, the wheel's gone. Well, they told us that they hadn't tested the brakes. I don't think they tested the wheels either. There we go. They just can't handle it. When will they ever learn? All you've got to do is record a previous soapbox race event and notice that these wheels don't work. Just about got away with it round the burn, didn't they? Push it through the car wash. <laughs> so this is the final soapbox of the day here in Helsinki. Now, you're going to love this one, Recycling Beast. There's a real backstory to this. It's a father and son team, and Dad didn't know that the son, who's only 12, wouldn't be able to drive it today. So Dad's got to drive it. He also didn't know he'd got to do a performance, hence why he's not done one. But he's still got 22. There are some teams, right, that have done a performance and thought about it and got less than that. All he's done is turn up and he's got 22. Ah! This is the first time he's driven it. He has no idea what he's doing. He's petrified. His name is Yana, by the way. Here's the boom. Recycling beast with Dad driving should be son. It's made out of rubbish. They made it for just about nothing. And here's the kicker. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Can you hear him shouting? He's absolutely petrified. Look at his face! <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> the fact he's driving one hand is not making it. I've had a break in his left hand and the steering wheel in his right. Here's the car wash. 
Chicane. Oh, he's lost it. Has he lost it? Oh. <laughs> he doesn't know what to get a hold of. Look. There's the finish. Yes, he's done it. He's done it. 107.59, and he'd only turned up to watch today. Oh, the facial expressions were worth it alone. You look like you were battling that the whole way down. How did that thing handle? Very poorly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it. It's OK. I think your helmet's on the wrong way. Maybe that's the thing why I was so slow. <laughs> So, all in all, happy with this thing? Yeah, yeah, what, uh, next time, same car. Yes. Same car, definitely. I, maybe I throw away the brakes yeah. to throw be faster. It. Yeah, exactly. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. No, no, no. small, uh, it's... Uh, faster. Faster, yeah. yeah. OK, well done. Yeah. Congratulations, I'll try get you out of here if I can. There you go. Love that guy. <laughs> so do I. I didn't realise he got his helmet on backwards either. Uh, well, that's been a cracking day's soapbox racing, but there has to be a winner. Matt, who's the king of Observatory Hill today? Wrapping up third place is Team Horim Aket. Winging it into second spot, a Warhawk P40. But today's winners, who were on it without a bonnet, are Team Sapua Luta Customs, and Gendel is with them now. So here are your winners, Soapbox Customs. Yeah. How are you feeling after that? It's unbelievable. It's nice. It's nice. It's so nice to win this game, yeah. When you came today as a team, did you really believe you would go home as champions? Yes, yeah. he builds like the best cars ever, yeah. You feeling pretty happy? So yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't believe this. Couldn't believe it? Yeah. You did it. You're going to celebrate tonight? Yes, we are. Big time. Big time, yeah. So all in all, you've had a good day? The best day ever and we'll be back. Of course you will. There you go, your champions of Helsinki Soapbox Customs! Yeah. Hooray! Yeah. Let's get to the after party, guys. Come on. <laughs> So our day in Helsinki has come to an end. What an amazing event. It was an absolute banger. It had it all. Oh, yeah. What was your favourite moment? Do you know what? I am going to go for the broomstick, the wizard. Oh, I've yes. been to a lot of these events, but I've <laughs> never seen that before. And he was a real trooper. He went down on the gravel oh. so early on. He got back up, flew down, and then did exactly <laughs> the same off the jump. And then he had an amazing day. He was still happy at the end. Brilliant. Yeah. What about you? My favourite one was the pyramid. I thought it had everything. A hilarious helmet. It was really quick and it all fell apart at the end. It was fantastic. He was so exposed when it was gone. Oh, it was hilarious. It was a good one. Perfect for me. Yeah. Uh, that is all we have time for. So I guess you could say, Matt, we've reached our finish line. Really? Of the show. Really? Yeah. I'm just going to go. All right, you're going to go. Later, you want to hang out, see no. a bit of Helsinki together? Finish line. It worked. Bye. <laughs>